hey guys welcome back to my channel it's blessing again have you missed me because i've missed you too if you have not missed me it's because you're not subscribed to the channel anyway lonely i'm actually that is so horrible so a lot of times you know you're learning words you're learning adject, um, vocab you're learning how to say bits and bobs or you're thinking what oh, blessing i don't know how i'm gonna put this all together i've got you in other words, here are 10 connectives and 10 conjunctions to make your sentences flow better. Ajeka bere. Oro kini, oda mloji kukukwa ni nimo. Oro yi, I'm sure a lot of you already know how to say this, but but is shugbon. Shugbon. But actually, you can also use amo. Amo. So you can say, um, ah, ebi mkba mi shugbon mi ufejao. I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat. Or you can say, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat. So, shuba and amo are interchangeable. You can use whichever one you want. Word number two is abi. Abi or tabi is all. So, you want to say, So, do you want food or do you want to drink water? Like so, it will offend you no. She will fair blah blah blah. Abi or tabi blah blah blah. So or is abi and tabi, but is shuba and amo. I know a lot of you struggle with that gb sound. So if that sound isn't for you, you'll just do amo. Yeah. The next word is because because is actually in two ways. There's because standard because which is torikwe. So me or lossy gym to me or me dear. So I'm saying like I didn't go to the gym because I'm a little bit tired. But me or lossy gym to me or me dear. Yeah. Or if you're saying because of something, then you would just use Tori. So me or fed gel Tori Daniel. I don't want to eat because of Daniel. Me or need gel Tori shoot to money lola i'm not gonna eat because of the shoot i have tomorrow so if you're saying because and then you're going to give like a proper sentence explaining what the because is about so i won't eat because when i eat my stomach hurts that's just because no of so it's torikwe but if you want to say because of something then you won't say torikwe you'll say tori so if I want to say I won't eat because of Daniel, I'm not gonna say me oni jong torik with Daniel. Yeah, Daniel is a person, and so I would have to use tori me oni jong tori Daniel. So there's a difference between saying that you're not happy because of something and saying you're not happy because. And then, like, you're actually explaining why you're not happy. So, because can be Tori Kwe and it can be Tori. The next word is after that or next. After that or next. So, you want to say, uh, I woke up in the morning. After that, I went to the gym. So, after that is Lenye. Lenye. So, Mojila Aro. Lenye. Molosi Gym. So, I woke up in the morning. After that, I went to the gym. Kitchen. So I'll speak to you. After that, I'll go to the kitchen. So basically, lengi means behind or after, and ie means that. So if you want to like join your sentence, you want to move on to the next point, you want to say, I did this, after that, I did this, or I will do this, after that, I'll do that. It's lengi ie which you can combine because you know we like contractions i'm going to do a video on contractions um and you'll contract it to learning the next word is so 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 there's actually four different ways that we use the word so we use so when we're trying to like make a sentence flow so for example i might say oh i don't do that anyway so what do you want to do tomorrow that so isn't an actual word it's just like um, an expression so in yoruba there's no actual word for the so that kind of switches the gears of a conversation so what i would use is wo i would say something like look i don't even like that thing anyway wo so no if you buy a anyway wo in kanshare so that wo is like a so you're like you're switching the conversation to a different direction by using wo. 
The second way we use so is when we use it as like very. So when you say someone is so pretty, someone is so nice, this work is so hard, what you mean is this work is very hard, that person is very pretty. So you wouldn't actually use so in that sentence in Yoruba, you would use gon. You would say it as if you were saying very. So you would say ore wa gon, she's so pretty, or ishe yi le gon. This work is so hard. So there is no so as in like so something. The third way is if you want to say so as a result. So if you want to say I didn't do it, um, so she didn't pay me. Yeah, so I didn't do the work, so she didn't pay me. I would be Tori Be. That would be Tori Be. So me o she shenye Tori Be ko songo for me. So, me o fe lo, tori be, me o sofu. I didn't want to go, so I didn't tell her. Yeah, so, so, when you mean as a result of or consequently is tori be. Yeah, so, me o mo, tori be, me o loki. I don't know her, so I didn't go say hello to her. There is a fourth so, but that will be for a different video. I'm not going to cover it in this video because it's long and... I don't want you guys to lose lose attention. So we're just going to do those three so's. But if you want to use the so of consequently, that's Tori Be. And actually, that leads on to another word. The word for therefore is also Tori No. Yeah, Tori No. So like, I don't like chicken, therefore, I don't like chicken pot pie. <laughs> so Mio Ferro, dear Tori No, Mio Ferro, chicken pot pie. So Adia see <laughs> now i'm thinking of food so um so is tori bear and therefore is tori no there's no real difference it's a matter of preference do you want to say so tori bear or do you want to say therefore tori no the next word is nonetheless so nonetheless is the same as however is the same as yet and it's the same as still when you mean however or yet for example, if I want to say, um, I don't like parties, nonetheless, I'll come. Yeah. So, mi ofera, yeah, yeah. Sibe, sibe, mawa. So, sibe, sibe is nonetheless or however. Yeah. So, it could be like, uh, we're not really friends. However, I'll go to her dinner. So, ah, I can really share or rebe, yeah. Ah, I can really share or rebe, yeah. Shubon. Sibe, sibe, malosa, yeah, yeah. So, sibe, sibe is nonetheless however if you want to say like you know this thing isn't true however or nonetheless or nevertheless i'll still do something else so sibe sibe is however don't think you're gonna go through a whole video and not do a test uh -uh. how you come to my video i will teach you for free like that you'll go and you'll not do a test now so i want you to comment down below how you would say I don't go to the gym, however, I will go tomorrow. See, it's simple. I didn't make it hard. I don't go to the gym, however, I will go tomorrow. I don't go to the gym, however, I will go tomorrow. Whoever gets this right gets a prize. You get a prize. So comment down below the answer in the comment section. The next word is as. If you want to say as, so for example, if you want to say something like, as I was going, I saw something. So as, as in you're saying as something was happening, as is B bracket she. Yeah, if you're a student of mine, you already know about the brackets. <laughs> so B more lo as I was going. B more as I saw him. B more sofu. As I told her. So if you want to say as, you're going to say be, then the pronoun and she. The pronoun that goes in the middle of be and she is whatever pronoun that comes after as in English. So if you say as I, it would be be more she. As you, be or she. As we, be as she. So as we sat down, be as she joko. So as is be, you put a pronoun in the middle, and she. The next word is to sum it up. So if you want to say, okay, to, so to sum it up or in conclusion or, yeah, like as a result, you just want to say like in conclusion or to sum it up, 
is Lorokan. Yeah, Lorokan. The L in front is Ni, which always just pops up randomly. If you study Yoruba, you'll know that Ni just does whatever it wants to do. Oro is word, Ka is one. So literally, we're saying in one word, but that's how you'll say, like, to sum it up or all together. So, Lorokan Sha, I'm not in Nigeria. So, to sum it up, <laughs> we're going to Nigeria. It can also be like a to cut it short, like just to get to the point. Lorokan, uh, to sum it up, or in conclusion, or to cut it short. Lorokan Sha, Uma Shele. Yeah. <laughs> the next word is unless. Unless is afi. Okay. And just remember in Yoruba, there's always multiple ways to say something. So if you think, oh, wait, but I think I know a different way, it might be right. <laughs> Your way might be right. My way can be right. Everybody's way can be right. Unless you're wrong, then it's not. But anyway, afi is unless. So if you want to say something like, mm, yeah, I should be able to go unless something comes up. I would say, oh, yeah, kin le law, afi ti in kamba shele. Yeah, so afi ti unless. So, yeah, like she's my friend, unless she acts up. Or I mean, me, afi to la res, yin she back on back on. So afi is unless, yeah, unless. Afi, afi ti. So usually the tea will come with afi. Oh, yeah, like I like chocolate, unless it's dark chocolate, then. Mm, like more fair on chocolate, afi to the dark chocolate. Yeah, so afi tea is unless. And the last word we're gonna do is uh instead of. So instead of is dikbo. Now a lot of times you don't actually even need to use a word for instead. So if I said something like do you want rice or do you want beans instead? You don't need to say a word for instead in that sentence, you'll just say show fair USC abi ewa. Yeah, the instead is implied. But in a sentence like, instead of going to the gym, she went to the chicken and chip shop. You'll say, Dikbo kolosi gym. So, Dikbo is saying in the place of, Ikbo is like position, where something should be. So, ko Dikbo is to replace something with something else. So, you'll say, Dikbo kolosi gym. Instead of her to go to the gym, kolosi chicken and chip shop. She went to the chicken and chip shop. Yeah? So, Dikbo is like instead of. Dikbo kora unjesile po order out. Yeah? Instead of her to buy food for the house, she got takeaway. So, Dikbo is instead of. Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm sure you are too. So, I'm going to cut it short there. Let me know below what words, what other connectives or conjunctions or like sent sentence continuous you want me to do. And I'll do a part two to this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe you weren't completely clear about anything. Let me know. I will answer it. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We now do conversational sessions at Yoruba Lessons. So maybe you don't want to take one-on-one -on -one lessons. You don't want to do... Maybe you don't want to do conversation. You don't want to do like actual formal lessons where you're learning all the rules. You just want a place to practice. We now do sessions uh, where you can just come and practice with other people who are also learning. So there's no judgment. So for the next month or couple of weeks the sessions are completely free so if you just want to come and practice your yoruba for 30 minutes with other people no pressure send me an email at yorubalessons.com they will eventually become a paid service so if i was you are getting now while it's free um but yeah also if you'd like to do one-on-one -on -one lessons maybe you want to really get in depth like you love these videos but you need more you then again, send me an uh, email at yorubalessons at gmail.com. You can also purchase resources to help you learn and help your studying at yorubalessons.com. Everything will be linked down below. And of course, you can find out more about our travel to Nigeria, our Orison Travel 2022 in December. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're planning a trip to Nigeria together as a group. So if you will be interested in learning more, go to yorubalessons.com slash travel. And yeah, you can send me an email to find out more about that as well. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one. Adabo.